What's up guys? I'm here in beautiful Reykjavik, Iceland. I just landed. I cannot wait to get out there. This is one of my favorite places in the world. And like so many flights I've taken in the past, I got my guitar on without paying for it and without checking it and it getting damaged. And I want to show you guys how to do that, even though I shouldn't because I feel like it might get messed up for me. But uh, it's a little bit of a secret. I don't even know if it's a loophole, uh, but I'm going to tell you how I do it. All right. The main main part of this is avoiding the people at the front desk, which means you cannot check in at the front desk, which also means if you are traveling alone, you can't have more than just a personal item. I have a backpack and your guitar, which is your carry on. This also means you probably can't have it in a big bulky case. So you are risking a little bit carrying it in a soft case. I have not had a problem with this yet. And the reason why is if they do end up making you gate check it, once you get up to the gate, um, like I said, the goal is to avoid the people at the front desk. So the first airline employees that will see you with the guitar is going to be at the gate as you hand your ticket and you get on the plane. Um, if you have a big bulky case, they'll take it from you. If you have a soft case, you can say, no, please, like it'll fit in the overhead. It's not that big, it's not that bulky. Um, it's definitely not protected. Uh, there also is a document that you guys can print up. Um, if you search it on Google, I should know what it is. Uh, that says that they can actually not force you to check in uh, your instrument because it will get damaged. But um, so to keep going, what usually happens now is nobody's seen my guitar yet and I have my personal item. So technically, I should have already paid for a carry-on and I didn't. Sometimes once I get up there, they'll make me pay the $50 or whatever it is for my carry-on. Most of the time, they don't even notice. It does say on the, on the boarding pass, but they're not really reading the boarding pass. They're just scanning it and getting on to the next person. It's awesome. Sometimes they'll make you gate check it. They throw a bunch of fragile stickers all over it. I've never had a problem with that. It does not go where all of the other check baggage from downstairs goes. It, they're definitely more careful. It still could get a little damaged. Um, this is definitely for those who don't travel with their main axe and they kind of have, have like a travel guitar, which I do as well. So you get up at the front gate. Those are the possibilities. Usually you just walk right in. Some problems that might happen is you're, you, there's not enough room in the overheads. So they'll take it. They might gate check it there or they might put it in one of the closets. If it's a higher end airline, they usually put it in, in uh, the wardrobe closet. Um, and they'll do it for free with no problem because like uh, in Delta, I think in American Airlines, you uh, part of the ticket is you get a personal and a carry-on. So with Wow Air, which is what I took today, uh, I did not. So I actually saved myself uh, that like 65 or $55 checking it in, which is so sweet. Um, so that is, that, that is basically how you do it. Soft case, light packing, get all the way to the gate without talking to any of the employees, they will give you such a runaround. They make, I know they make stuff up because I've flown the same, my main airlines are Norwegian, uh, Wow Air, and then uh, Spirit to, to, to fly um, domestically. And it's, uh, they all say, no, you have to, some, one time they told me that I had to buy a ticket, a whole ticket for my guitar. My guitar was worth maybe $125 and they wanted me to buy a $600 plane ticket for it. Come on. Never heard that before. And I basically said, you can take the guitar. Uh, it's not worth that much. And they were like, oh, okay, we'll just take it to the top. So they don't know what the hell they're talking about. But so you want to get it all the way to the gate and then just deal with it then. Um, it, you might, uh, hopefully you're not too shy because they might pull you aside or they might stop the line for a little bit to tell you that you can't take it on. But uh, that is your main goal. Hopefully, number one, you don't have to check it and it won't get hurt. And number two, you don't have to pay for it. I really hope this video helps you guys. Um, I've also been up for uh, a solid 24 hours. So uh, I'm rambling a little bit, I can tell. But I hope this helped and, uh, and I'll see you.